We Team Tiger TV, Tiger TV are inviting Coalition for a Better Wallingford Youth to WBAA TV for Green Screen Fun! I'm Ben, the youth leader of Teen Tiger TV. Hi Ben, I'm Natalie. I'm the program director for the Coalition for Better Wallingford. Miss Natalie, I have a question. Could you tell me what similarities we have in our youth group experience? Absolutely. Uh, so our main goal about having our summer creative program was to involve the youth in learning strong community values. So we had the goal of getting young adults between the ages of 10 and 14 interested, involved, and aware of what the community has to offer. And WPAA fit that bill perfectly. We do do a lot of that here. Do a lot of community interest stuff. We actually went out and kind of did a news story at show in the um, Paul Mellon Center, like a news report about the ballet, that the New Haven Ballet was there. They wow. were doing a summer program there too. It's so a lot of community stuff we do. I mean, in years before this, I think we've also gone kind of on news stories for community events, stuff like that. It's all about strong community values, and by involving the young adults and the younger youth, it helps create more involvement as time passes on. Get them involved now so that they want to keep getting involved as they're older. Yes, ma'am. Strong community values. Do you think you found success this year in the summer program? I think we did. This was our very first year offering this program. Uh, we yeah. offer this program free of charge to anyone in the town of Wallingford between 10 and 14 years old. We noticed um, this year especially that the 10 to 14 year olds struggled the most in our community. I don't know if any of you guys are aware of this, but Wallingford Public Schools has a position in town called the Wallingford Wellness Coordinator. The Wellness Coordinator every year produces a survey for the high school students to take. And this was the first year that the middle schoolers were also able to take this survey. And what it was able to tell us was what the needs are for specific ages. And we found that the 10 to 14 year olds needed the most um, attention, were the ones that could benefit from, I don't want to call it hand holding, but the, the, they need to find a place in the community that doesn't involve um, destruction of property, um, drugs and alcohol and stealing. Um, those were not the high schoolers. The high schoolers seemed to be in very good shape, but the middle schoolers really needed some extra attention. So we wanted to give them a, sp a safe space to come and be together, to meet other, you know, community partners and build those relationships so that maybe they would be less likely to destroy property, steal, or participate in other substance abuse activities. That's great. Thank you. That's a great reason. We are also a safe space, really, I think. Try, you know. I, I, I feel very, I don't think anything's going to fall from the ceiling. I feel okay. pretty good over here. <laughs> Everybody's very welcoming. No. Everybody seems like they're very happy to be here um, and are passionate about what they're doing. And if you're passionate about what you're doing, you're, you know, less likely to feel down. And that's, yeah. you know, a big thing that the coalition tries to do right now is promote uh, good mental health so the fact that people can come here and pursue their interests and be passionate about something is huge but with uh, with uh, content creating being so popular now and how it blew up during the pandemic I'm personally surprised that there's not more young adults yeah, here fine-tuning cool. those skills oh, we're in see so many of them out the there so that's something I think we should we could Everybody definitely got a good collaborate on to get, yeah. get, yeah. get the kids here. Oh, I'm, oh. It's a great kind of idea to have kids. It's kind of like a new interest because I think back when I was a kid and I didn't know here existed. I was always interested in making music, making videos. I never knew this was here until I was about 18 years old. The only uh, content that was out for people our age was, uh, I'm going to date myself here, but 
uh, Charlie Bit My Finger. Yep. The Harry Potter Puppet Pals. That was... Elmo that was cartoons uh, with music. It, there wasn't a whole lot out there until, you know, YouTube started to expand with yeah. content creators. Vlogs. Um, what do they call them? Muk mukbangs of people eating and talking oh, yeah, at the yeah, same yeah, time. Yeah. Those are, have gotten popular. Yeah. And now it's... What fifteen second clips is the is the biggest it's grab the new now? Thing. That's it's the TikTok new thing. For That's you. the TikTok. So yeah. I would imagine if somebody really wanted to fine tune TikTok skills or really was interested and passionate about learning more about green screening and software, that this would be the ideal place for them to come. Definitely would be. We have a very, very smart tech guy, film guy. Who would be very that's, much helpful with that? And that's Solomon. That film is coach. Solomon. I'll be film coach. Okay. Do you go Don't to short. Fancy. That's who I am. Right. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you I'm too, Natalie. Natalie. Hello, I'm the Natalie. program director for the Coalition of a Better Wallingford. Fantastic. I was giggling off screen because you mentioned Charlie bit my finger, and that's it's one of like the, the OG yeah. viral videos. Isn't it 16 years old this year? Something like that. Probably something. Like, I remember the first time like I went to a friend's house and. When you could cast to a television and watch YouTube videos. Google Chrome. Yeah, I'm like, are we doing this? Are we really doing this right now? Like, seriously? <laughs> and, like, ever since then, yeah, that's what people do. They just gather around a phone and just share clips. I mean, it's what I do all day. I just, it was so weird, like, noticing that moment when it happened. Like, we weren't meeting up to watch a movie or some TV show. Or maybe we started to do that and someone was like, hey, have you seen this thing? And then we just started watching, like, these little, little internet clips. I'm like, wow. Do you personally have a favorite content creator? My favorite content creator right now is probably a ch channel called Corridor Digital. Okay. They make um, their visual effects guys, and they do a series where they they react to good and bad visual effects in films, which is very entertaining to me. Oh, that sounds funny. <laughs> it's it's pretty funny. If you've ever seen a movie and just like notice something like wonky in the background, they'll just like they'll tear it apart. Or if they see a video and, like, they can't figure out how it's done or it's done really well, like, they'll also gush about that. So I love those guys and what they do. So Awesome. Yeah. Do you have any questions about the Coalition for a Better Wallingford? The Coalition, I mean, it sounds like a fantastic coalition, the things that you were just describing to Ben about, like, uplifting kids and giving them an outlet and all those things. Um, what is your, what's your title again? I'm the program director. You're the program director? Is there, like, um... An effort that you see that works better than another as the program director? Or what is something that you would hope to establish that you haven't yet as program director? Stability. Stability. <laughs> I, I think all nonprofits in town can agree and maybe sing the song of uh, community involvement is at an all time low, and the uh, stability of being able to offer the programs that we're so passionate about is also hard due to the lack of community involvement. Mm. So by creating these programs uh, with uh, you know, the Youth Summer Program, we have a team of workers that come to us from Youth and Social Services, which is another strong community partner of ours. Um, we are all, as you know, nonprofits and town organizations, all trying to accomplish the same things and instead of you know doing it at your own pace or doing it at your own level it's much easier and beneficial I've noticed to just collaborate with people so whenever I start a new program or I start a new initiative I try to loop everyone in that is relevant or when I see a nonprofit or a group that maybe not the words not struggling but could use some extra support or could benefit from teaming up. I like to invite them to things, just you know, like being here, you know, to educate myself. Because as the program director, it's my job and obligation to come up with powerful opportunities for the community to, you know, bring the community together instead of, you know, this one's over here doing that. Maybe Scow's out there doing a dance. Where, it, you know, again, we're all doing the same things. It just makes sense to bring everybody together and work yep. in, in tune. Man, that makes sense. Yeah, it makes complete sense. Like, community, better together. Mm. Everybody come together. I mean, I don't know what else more I can add to that. Do you uh, know anything about the history of the Coalition for Better Wallingford? Please explain what the Coalition okay. is. 
So the Coalition for a Better Wallingford was founded about 11 years ago. I want to say it was 2000. I'm not good at math. 2012, 2011. Um, I was, ooh, either in eighth grade or freshman in high school and I volunteered religiously at the Trail of Terror and I was introduced to this group of young adults and one of those young adults was a young adult by the name of Taylor Short and she was full of life covered in glitter terrified of chainsaws and one of the nicest people I had the pleasure of getting to meet and unfortunately uh, she overdosed at the age of 19 due to a accidental uh, fentanyl overdose and she died and it was as a young person myself it was eye-opening to see the effect that it had on the community and her family took a tragedy and created something strong in our town which originated as the Taylor Short Foundation and as the need to educate and the need to collaborate came about in the community, they built the Coalition for a Better Wallingford. Um, in the last 10 years, they have ignited uh, laws to be passed, bills to be changed, uh, community values to be held more accountable and stronger. They've educated. I'm sure you've passed the billboards. Maybe you didn't see them, or maybe it didn't stick with you, but we do monthly billboards. We have a new initiative this year called the Narcan Initiative. So we train members of our community over 18 on how to identify an opioid overdose and how to correctly administer Narcan and store Narcan. So that's a you know, very big topic. Um, but we also try to offer ourselves as a pillar of support. So I am newer to my title of program director. I took this on in September of 2022 and no 23 my bad this past no yes 22 I'm sorry that's uh, new and I came to realize very quickly I was kinda by myself the original founders Ken Welch and Jen Short really had a lot on their plate with their careers with their families and again with their passion that's the coalition for a better wallingford so i made it my goal to get as much community participation and support for them because it felt like the coalition was it was either make a change or close the doors and so after a three-year search for them i was able to find somebody to take over as our executive director who is diane mark she couldn't be here today but she's holding down the fourth coalition and sh her and I are trying to rebuild, reintensify, and reignite the strength of the coalition and the community. So that's why we're a little, little crazy and, you know, trying to connect and collaborate with everybody so that we can help everyone. That sounds like a bunch of fantastic things it's that everybody time. should be involved with. You got a question with. back there. See your hand. The question for Natalie is how many places has she visited so far? The summer. Oh, with the youth group? We've been, so we've had how many weeks so far? So we've had people come to us and we've gone to places. So physically we've gone to four locations. This is our fourth. We've gone to Beaumont Farm. We have gone to Wallingford Inc. And we have also gone to the Wallingford Public Library to learn a little bit more in depth about how they aid the community. So that's been really cool. Uh, we've had visits from the fire department we've had visits from hidden gem on main we've had um, baking classes we did i personally shared my family's lemonade recipe because you know it's a life skill that you, you know you don't it's not like you pour the minute made into the you yeah. know the glass it's sure. you know take a lemon you do the hard work and then you're left with something great so i kind of felt like there was a, a nice message there you know like when life gives you lemons that was kind of my jam but you got to make the most out of what you got and right now in this room you got a great studio and you got a great team so that's that's a great thing and I've got a bunch of great kiddos that I hope will continue to make good choices and if you don't I'm coming after you <laughs> right. so I had a few AI generated questions you know for this event one of the questions was, if your community was a flavor of ice cream, what would, the, what would it be and why? 
Um, the community would probably be cookies and cream because our community is very sweet and they all work together and come together just like how cookies and cream is so good together. Thank you.